Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Caves of Cud, where we might have a little bit of mindless wandering to do today. I'm really not sure how to proceed. The one thing I was thinking is that we can go back to, uh, we go back to Ezra and just like scour the place. Cause I don't, I don't know what else we could possibly do. We could, we could try to look for more clues as to the location of historical sites, but honestly, I have no idea how we would find any. So, here's what I'm thinking. First things first, we uncovered some layers of legendary chefs. Let's go to those places, right? Let's, let's figure out what's going on with that. Do we have any... We don't have any quests to go to any particular place, right? No, we're looking for a lot of historical relics, but we have no idea how to find them. Because we don't know where Sapir is, or the Shrewd Quagmire, or... yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, so let's just do the- th let's just do these, uh, these things. We- we just picked up these advertisements. Legendary Icker Merchant is... Eight Parasangs East, one Parasang North of Gritgate. That should be easy enough to find. Uh... Okay, it's... it's wait, where the hell am I right now? Uh... That didn't help- oh, there I am, okay. <laughs> I see me! Alright, so it's this one in the water? Ah, huh, okay. Maybe a distillery takes a lot of water to run? That seems feasible. That se it seems like that could be the case. Uh, the good news here is that this is probably... Yes, thank you. <laughs> the, good, the good news here is that this is probably going to be like a pretty high visibility area. I'm a little surprised at how, uh, how much it's not just flat and water. Honestly. I was kind of expecting we'd step in here and be able to, like, immediately see all the way across the entire screen. And our, uh, our auto-explorer seems, <laughs> seems to be auto-exploring in a pretty roundabout way. I'm not really <laughs> sure why it's doing this weird zigzag thing. Listen, I'm sure, I'm sure the computer knows how to pathfind. This is probably the most efficient possible, <laughs> possible route. What on earth is it doing? It's fine. You know, it's just all, like, uh... Let's all lay back and just relax. Hey, there are the stairs. I mean, at this point, we're almost totally revealed. We may as well let it finish searching all the trash. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find something in the trash. The trash knows things. And I'm not just talking about myself this time. Have I really not? Oh, okay. We, we went partially through this building, but we did not finish exploring the building. And if those chests had anything in them, the auto-explorer would, uh would grab it for us, so I feel confident that we are clear. A legendary Icar merchant. I mean, I don't really understand what that means, because... you I would expect a legendary merchant to have some, like, real cool legendary... Why am I so green? Why am I glowing? I mean, sure, I'm covered in slime, that's it? I'm just slimy? Okay, that's fine. Um, but, like, what, what would it mean for his goods to be legendary, right? Hold up, hold up, I do see the man. Also, we should look at this thing. Uh, yeah, the Voltaic Devil. I know all about this Voltaic Devil. So the merchant is, um, is over there. I'm a little worried that if I try to hack my way through the fence, everybody will freak out because they're like, hey, that's my fence. Don't, hey, don't do that, please. But it does look like there's a, hmm. Is this just one tile? No. But from here, it's only two tiles. I'm wondering if I can just jump it. Right? That's... Oh, the square has to be visible, though. What about here? I could, ju I could jump the fence this way, right? <laughs> right? That's probably true. Aha! Okay. Cool. Howdy. Sishwar Numawar. I'm not going to water ritual him yet, because I don't know for sure that we don't want to kill him. We probably don't want to kill him. Uh, inside a colossal quill, Antaraduct the Fourth cemented her friendship with explorers by marrying Iaramish. Ira Is that new information? I guess not. I, I sure didn't remember that thing about a colossal quill. A uh, secret from Reshef that we have not heard before. That's pretty cool. Deep in the wilds of Cumbertum, Antaraduct the Fourth discovered Camrod Tangle. Oh, is that going to tell me? Nope, that's not new information. Okay. Uh... I'm just pressing buttons pretty much at random here. 
Um, my reputation with the Barithromites decreased. I should have checked before doing that. I will not name my quantum moat. I refuse. Here are some secrets. And then you will share your secrets with me. The location of a caravan? Okay, that's exciting. Someone told me that a woman repeatedly beat the Naftali tribe at dice. Great, thanks. That's really good secrets. Bird Chatter says that fish torched a village of the cult of the coiled lamb. Okay, that's just a lie. I don't know if the birds lied to you or if you're lying to me, but that's definitely not a real story. Give me your desalination pellets, you idiot. Alright. So he doesn't really have anything. It wouldn't have been worth killing him. Oh, wait. We didn't notice this. Also, he does have cloning draft. Maybe that would have been worth killing him for. I mean, I don't exactly know what it does, but I can guess I could hazard a guess on that one. I did want his secrets, though. Oh, hey, it's it's a Mechanimus Preacher and Hired Guard. Okay. Well, this was an exciting waste of time. Oh, sorry. Can't just auto-run to the thing because my auto-run doesn't know how to utilize the jump skill. Uh, which is a 37-round cooldown. All right, well, I'm just going to mash past turn a bunch of times here. Because it turns out we, <laughs> we have to wait 37 rounds. Uh, okay. Now, get me out of here. I guess there's a door there, but, like, the odds of there being anything of value behind that door are functionally zero. Okay, so, Dromad Caravan. I'm curious about a Dromad Caravan. Uh, Merchants. Nine Parasangs east and one south of Golgotha. We are pretty close to that, actually. Uh, nine east is this one in the river, yeah? No, that's the Muon Ellipse. This is the caravan. Oh, good. I got lost in the river somehow. Uh, cool. I... Oof. Please let me just... Okay, a crocodile. Dear all hostiles, uh, go to hell, please. There we go. I was one tile too far south before. I mean, I guess let's check in with this Dromad Caravan, right? Wait, where the hell is the Dromad Caravan? Oh, there's the guards. Just running around murdering Kudzu. I get that. I do not like all of these trees. Clear cut this land, I say. So that I may have easier shopping. <laughs> this is the pinnacle of human civilization. For real, though. Clear cut. Well, don't just run next to the kudzu. I mean, we saw... Yeah, we just ran past that caravan guard again. Okay, cool. We found an asphalt weep. There's another caravan guard. There's the merchant. Uh, let's trade, my friend. You have... I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess probably nothing of huge value. Yeah. All right. Uh, do I want to buy copper nuggets off of you? You know what? We probably should. We're definitely, definitely experiencing weight issues again. Do I have stuff that I could sell? I mean, these are my extra gloves. Uh, I could sell these advertisements because, you know, obviously, we know. But hold on, that's not that's not going to fix my weight issue. You know what, I'm just going to give them water straight up. That'll help with our weight a little bit. And then he didn't have anything else of interest. Yeah. Well, that's a shame. All right, not hugely surprising, but still. Uh, okay, so... The locations of the other caravans. Or the other the other merchants. So there's a legendary chef, three Parasangs west and two south of Kyakukya, and four west and ten south of the Stilt. Uh, I guess let's do the Kyakukya one first. The one out the one out in the middle of the desert's kind of a pain. Yep, okay. The place where the forest is inexplicably blue. You do have to wonder what kinds of things a legendary chef is going to have on hand. Also, I'm a little curious if the very low quality of the secrets we were learning from that last merchant 
should be suggesting to me that the Merchant's Guild faction is out of secrets, or if secrets really are known by person and not by faction. Which doesn't seem impossible, but... I mean, no, I guess, I guess I was gonna, I was going to say it seems like it would be a really weird pain in the ass to generate them that way. But you know what? Here in Cud, no, nothing is too weird of a pain in the ass. Stop doing that. You asshole. <laughs> oh, I critically hit that tree. Sure showed that tree who's boss. All right, there are the stairs. And my guess is that we're going to find that there is nothing worth looking at in the Auto Explorer, but we may as well. Oh, 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 uh, dismember. Cut off his face. I need your face. Surrender it to me. <gasps> I got it. Awesome. That is a pretty decent quality face. Uh, right? These are, these are two ego. Yeah, check it out. Look at... Look at how good my stats have gotten again. 34 points of Psychic Glimmer. Oh, and we do have mutation points. Should I bump up the level of a mutation or should I buy a new mutation? Do we need even more mutations? Ooh, we are one level off of having another, another copy in our Temporal Fugue. I'm a little torn. I'm actually a little torn. I'm going to take the Temporal Fugue level. And then we're going to sit on the other three points. And we'll take, a, we'll take a new mutation if we level up again. Did I just... What did I just pick up? Was that a book? Oh, right. Hermits hate me now. On account of I, I did that thing. I cut his arm right off. Uh, and this chest actually has some interesting stuff in it. Okay. Weird. Naftali are almost never alone. I mean, I guess the guy wasn't alone in the sense that this tile had about 10,000 other Naftali on it. But, you know, he was, he was by himself in a room, which is weird. I sort of think of the Naftali as having like a hive mind, I guess. Uh, leather bracers, no thanks. Hold up, let me let me go look at this. Who is this a statue of? Rishef. The Twilight of the Spindle. Oh, that's the ghost in, ghost in Cerulean story. Not terribly interesting. Some flattened remains. Huh. That's a thing we've never seen before. Locations, oddities. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll have a look at that. Also, we did not find the merchant. Uh, well, you know what? There's nobody around. I'm just gonna hack through part of the fence. Okay, it looks like we did in fact find our way to the. Uh... Oh, I thought those were those dromads were just guards of the merchant, but apparently. There is Dromad Trader and Hired Guard, and then he has his normal retinue alongside him. Weird. <laughs> That's a weird thing. Uh, I kind of want to take this rifle. It's probably just got, like, a, you know, water cooling on it or something. It's probably not actually worth inspecting. But it's so rare at this point for us to see a, uh, a thing that we can't immediately identify. So you just have, yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the standard stuff. Nothing terribly interesting. Uh, he does have a drop of nectar. And an illuminated copy of Shafashwad Maruru's Broiling. Eyes reflect your image. You know, I know that there's a colon in there, but it's hard for me no to imagine that this book is about anything other than broiled eye recipes. Uh, okay, before I water ritual with you... Admired by the villagers of Ezra, loved by the Merchant's Guild. Okay, I don't I don't think it's going to hurt for us to do this. And hell, I like being liked by the villagers of Ezra. Ooh, yeah, we just take your drop of nectar. I like that. Let me share some secrets with you. 
And then please give me that drop of nectar. And share a secret with me. Let's see if you have anything good. Someone told me that a troll foal sold a slender folded carbine short sword to a Mapango pilgrim for too much money. So yeah, you just know nothing. That's fine. It's so weird that that actually gets noted. I mean, what else are we going to use our, our, uh, our reputation for, right? Hold on. Let me eat the food. Oh. Oh, interesting. Hold on. Which is the one that you were offering to teach me? Spice cured casserole and stuffed char. Uh, let's eat that one. See what it does. Quickness and heat resist. Nah, it's not a recipe that's worth trading for. I guess just share more secrets with me. I heard that a child torched a village of a Gershling. Gershlings don't have villages. Someone insulted the women of a, a scrap-clad hermit. Okay, there's a whole bunch of assumptions being made in there that I don't even want to dig into. I'm going to use your oven real quick. Uh, preserve my food. And whip up a meal, because apparently I'm hungry. I think I just ate some skunk hair, which is probably pretty gross, actually. I need to know about these flattened remains. What is that even? The flattened remains of what? Oddities. Five west and two south of the ruins of Joppa. Which would be... Boy, which one is... Okay, it's this one. Well, let's go check it out. Uh, sure. I'll investigate some ruins. I love to investigate a ruin. Alright, it looks to me like this is a pretty low-level area. Although something over there is making a force field. Is it a pig? Did I see a two-headed boar? Yes. That is the force field of a two-headed boar. Um, alright, well I have some questions about this boar. What's, hey buddy, what's your deal there? Huh. He seems to just be a normal boar? I mean, I guess... Ah, there it is. Okay, this is one of the guys who puts the force fields around their enemies. Mechanimus Preacher and Psychic Thrall. Thrall of... What exactly? To what was he enthralled? Because I don't see an enemy around here that would be capable of doing such a thing. Uh, you know what? Give me those crocusins. <laughs> we still... Okay, yeah. Something something weird was going on here. We have way too much stuff. Uh, I, should, I should identify the weird artifact. A flaming iron dagger. And then I should drop that. But we should also drop... I picked up a copy of Crime and Punishment somewhere. Don't know how to read it. English is, is pretty out of style at this point. Let's drop that. Uh, oh, we also have just like a bunch of garbage guns. Let's disassemble a bunch of these. Yeah, I don't care about this. Semi-automatic pistol. Let's, let's not with that one. Jewel-encrusted phase harmonic chain pistol. I mean, that's a lot of trade value. Do I want to save a seven-pound object for trade value? I guess, I guess it's fine for now. All right, and then we'll real quickly here just explore these ruins, see if there's anything particularly compelling anywhere, and then back to our flattened remains. I wonder what it's the remains... Like, is it going to be the remains of, like, a guy? Just, like, a guy that got squished? Or it, it would have to be something more significant than that, right? Sure, let's investigate ruins. I love ruins. I love investigation. Even more than I love ruins, if you can imagine. Alright. Uh, my guess is, though, that we're going to find, at most, a becoming nook around here. And I don't even really care about that. I mean, sure, copper nugget, why not? Oh, better stop auto-exploring. I saw a single snap jaw. Could be real dangerous. Please rifle through this trash. Oh man, they got magic. Okay, that was pretty easy. 
Ooh, look at all this merchant skill drop. Uh, I cut off your right hand. You had nothing of value. It's just kind of spraying bullets. Uh, he had a canteen. I honestly don't even care enough to pick it up. Something leveled up. I just can't. I cannot bring myself to care about that. You know, listen, we're very busy. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a, an eater? I think that might be a statue of an implanted eater. Yeah. And then here we got some glass. Okay, I mean, we should come over here and check this out. Uh, what are you? Night vision. I mean, take it. It's weightless. We will not pick up the stabilizer arm locks. Okay. I think we've probably gotten all we're going to get out of this. I appreciate that we're so good at finding ruins all of a sudden, though. Notes. Some flattened remains. I mean, I guess I'm probably just looking for a corpse, right? I appreciate that the, uh, the sight lines here are not, like, terrible. You stumble upon some flattened remains. Uh, I got an achievement for that. For some reason. I do not see them. Uh, where are the... F I, I was standing right here when I got the message. Yeah, is that... This is a tree, right? Where is a tile that has flattened remains in it? The achievement was titled, What with the Disembowelment and All? Which I'm assuming is a reference, but it's not a reference that I get. Uh, yeah, I actually do not... I do not see... Oh, well here's some stuff. Here's Is this the thing? Bloodstained water vine. And the flattened remains of some vainglorious humanoid. Found a weird artifact, a whole bunch of wire, black robes, a warhammer. What is this artifact? Perhaps this will help clue me into what the hell is happening here. Mechanical wings. Oh, well now that's interesting. Uh, we could fix these. We have foam, which for some reason will fix them. I mean, let's go ahead and do that. Apply this to these mechanical wings. Fix these broken wings and learn to fly. An elaborate flap-powered contraption of rusted bronze and parasols. One assumes that it attaches to the back, so we can't actually try to wear it right now on account of uh, we'd be too heavy to even walk, much less fly. So there's the... um. There's that wings mutation that you can take, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't remember what it does. It makes overland f f uh, movement faster, like map movement. And there's a chance for you to fall to the ground whenever you fly. I, I don't know, man. This is probably not a big deal. Who needs to learn to fly? So an iron buckler... Warhammer, yeah, no nothing else here of value. There's an awful lot of wire. Huh. Okay, maybe this is like a thing that spawns in every game somewhere in the world. There is the flattened remains of a person who tried to fly and it didn't go that well for them. Right, what are we seeing out here in the desert? That's the lair of the legendary Dawn Glider. I mean, I'll stop in and fight a Dawn Glider. This is not, this is not relevant to our quest. I apologize if you showed up just for me pressing in on the main quest because obviously we're gonna we're gonna be a little distracted here it seemed like those chameleons were content to ignore me until i got near the first one of them so now i do feel a little bit bad about that i'll save you brave turtles just <laughs> just kind of fire with reckless abandon in the general direction of all the fighting i managed to miss i managed to miss everybody that's very embarrassing I'm just saying that's a lot of bodies, and also I fired a lot of bullets. So too, uh, too hard miss in this way. Alright, so the tortoises uh, totally kicked the chameleon's asses. It looks like pretty handily. Shrine to Endiraduk to the fourth. Uh, I think we have... No, we had not seen that before. We've definitely seen stuff about the, the gambler's aristocracy before. I guess that was a different story about it. Why does everybody just want to die? Why does everybody want to run at me 
so as to die. Why is everybody always committing suicide by Marugamet? That's my question. Don't they care about the, the psychological toll that all of this marauding takes on me? I mean, there isn't one. I love it. But they should be concerned that there might be one. Seems like it would be the decent thing to do. Alright, let's go fight a legendary Dawn Glider. I'm not afraid. I haven't cut a dragon's head off in almost a week. I'm starting to get itchy. That's a lot of bones, though. Uh, and I am thinking that I would like to eat something. Apparently I have food to preserve again somehow. Oh, we'll just do we'll just do meat and meat. Hmm. Bonus to natural healing rate. That's some pretty good meat. Aha, there he is. Let's make sure that it does it's not gonna screw up our reps to do this. Hated by Kakukia, admired by goat folk. Loved by birds and unshelled reptiles. I think birds already don't like me. Interesting that he's rated average, though. This is actually a tough enemy. He has failed to set me on fire. But he sure did try. Oh! Hey, that's a thing you're allowed to do. Um, I would like to begin to sprint. I would like to juke. Away. And then I would like to begin to sprint. Oh, I forgot we have Priscilitize now. I mean, Priscilitize? Okay, it worked. Welcome welcome aboard. Uh, I don't even want this garbage. I mean, I'll disassemble it. Sorry, what's your name again? I... I... Lacutia. I Lacutia. Yeah. Welcome aboard. Uh, I hope that you are careful with your summoning. Right, I'm assuming that, that this this Dawn Glider is responsible for the uh, the space-time vortex, which could be actually a real bad thing. Maybe I should just kill him. I kind of wasn't expecting the um, computerized scion of dogs. Hey, that's a story I've not heard. Uh, I really don't want to get space-time vortex while I'm trying to do stuff, so... It may, in fact, be a bad idea to... Boy, what is going on in this room? Why is why is this room like this? We got a Lover's Blossom. Oops. I didn't mean to hit you. I meant to attack the Dreadroot. There we go. Hold on. We want this, right? Dreadroot tubers are used for something. I do not remember what, but it's but it's something. Oh no. Oh, it's no bullets and gone. Do legendary lairs... I'm trying to remember. Do legendary lairs usually have... Um, we should take this meat. We should, we should make more jerky. Do they usually have a pink chest? Or are you intended to get the loot... The loot that you're going to get from the place by killing the legendary? Hmm. I do not know... You know, maybe the space-time vortex came from somewhere else. We haven't seen him do it again. Boy, your lair is actually quite extensive. And it looks like a lot of people were living in it. There's a lot of bedrolls around here. Hold on. What's engraved on that? Uh, corrupt administrator of Ekishan. Yep, that is a story that we are familiar with. We know a lot of history. At some point, we're going to run out, right? It, it probably it generates, I assume, a finite number of, uh, of anecdotes about each of the sultans. I wonder how many it is, actually. Alright, for the moment, we're going to keep Isla Kotia alive. And maybe that'll end up... Get me out of the web. Maybe that'll end up being a bad idea. Maybe we'll get into a real a real fight, and then all of a sudden, we'll get space-time vortexed into some horrible place. Uh, oh, I checked this out already. So we're going over here. Oh, I'm lost in the desert. 
There's not really that many ways to, like... How do we even? How do we even get lost out here? I have a compass. I might have a couple of compasses. <laughs> I'm not actually sure. Okay. Let's check out this legendary chef. Why would you make your kitchen way out here? What do you think that's about? Uh, no thanks. That glow sphere is probably worth a fair amount, but I don't even care enough to pick it up. You know what would be really, nice, really neat is if I discovered a, uh... Oh, hey. There's nothing, there's nothing in that. What? Oh, it's graffitied. It's this color not because it's a special chest, but because somebody painted on it. Ah, oh, we discovered the <laughs> the lair of a legendary giant dragonfly. It'd be really neat if we searched some trash and it was just like you discover the mark of the uh, the mark of death. All right, there's a cave spider to the west somewhere. Aha! Having a hell of a time actually having an effect on this. Get him, fire dragon. Yep. Okay. Definitely just definitely just summoning space time vortices. All right, listen, I know that you recently converted to my religion and everything, but, um, here's the thing about that. Dismember. What? I want to, no, I want to kill the, I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to attack my friendly. I'm probably allowed to. There's probably a, a way I could do that. I tried, I even tried using the force attack command there. Maybe I could, maybe I could tell Ilocuta that, uh, Ilocutia that I am releasing him from service and then kill him? Oh, hey, like, actual enemies. People who totally want to die. That guy threw a painted poison tip spear at me. Uh, well, get it. I mean, obviously, poison tip spear is a good thing. I'm gonna intentionally... I'm gonna... Aw. I was gonna say, I'm gonna try not to stand adjacent to that guy, and I'm just gonna let him attack us. Because I wanted him to drop more spears. Oh, he dropped enough, though. That gets us another, uh... Another one of those uh, Betel requests finished. You know what? I don't care about this. You guys you guys fight. I'm going to talk to this person. Uh, do you have anything that's actually interesting? Uh, you do have a soul curd, which I think I still need. And also, even if I don't, it's cheap enough that who cares? Uh, yes, I will do that. Uh, I should look at you before I water ritual you. Disliked by the villagers of Ezra. That's probably not a big deal. Oh, you are equipped with the point of the mated astronomer. What do you think that is? It's probably a weapon, right? The point? I bet it's a weapon. I can't cook because theoretically there's... A oh, God. Uh, well, I guess Ilocuta just, just made the decision on whether or not we're killing you. Sorry about that. You know, I didn't really get a say here. Uh, I, it, I apparently hit the sprint hop key. I'll fight this crab. Okay, well, more reputation with the villagers of Ezra for me. Where is the... Okay, so we got all that food. We get to see what's painted on these boots. Uh, we get to see what this thing is. It's a, yep, it's a steel knife. Not even a, not even a cool knife. But, given that it has a name, it might be, you know, might be valuable. And then, most of this stuff's not actually interesting. I mean, I don't even want to, I don't even want to take the convalescence. If we care about convalescence, there's an infinite amount of it available in, um, <laughs> acid latkes. Yeah, sure, let's, let's try it. Gas generation, huh. Uh, there's an infinite amount of convalescence available at uh, Bethesda Souza, right? We don't we don't have to care about this. Would not have been my choice. Oh, that's interesting. I do not think we're going to pick it up. It's too heavy. Okay. Well, we didn't get a lot accomplished here. We found some neat stuff. Uh, let's swing by the stilt because we have some stuff to to sell. 
We may as well check in with the caravan. I mean, not to sell, sorry. We, we have, like, books to turn in. We have a book to turn in. Crime and Punishment is probably worth some XP. Uh, do you have anything cool? You have... A pretty good data disc. If we didn't already have an Eigen Rifle, I'd be excited about that. Okay. More history. I'm not even reading it. We should definitely take the Uber Nostrum Injector. Uh, would you like... A... Thing. Oh, that's true. We did get a cookbook. I can learn a recipe. Would you like a... Do we have any extra guns or anything? I think I dis dismantled all of our extra weapons. Um, yeah. I, I was saving this to sell, and boy does it. I mean, I probably don't want to give up a hundred uh, trams of water, right? Honestly, we totally can. It's fine. Yeah, we still have 143 plus an absurd amount of trade value. Alright, so we can go turn in our books. We can go and um, buy more books, I guess. We certainly have some trade value, but... It does feel like it would be an awful lot of books for us to be able to... Um, for us to be able to level up again. Okay, Crime and Punishment is one of the really valuable ones. We should read this other book before we turn it in. Teach me some recipes. Uh, okay. Vine Wafer Sheaf by itself to thirst at half rate. One dram of acid is all it takes. So these are really acid latkes. And Electromagnetic Pulse at level 2 to 3 and plus 4 DV. Yo, that's pretty good. I don't know where the hell you get dried Vanta petals. I don't know what a Vanta is. That'd be a cool recipe if you if we could actually execute it. Here, give me 196 XP, which is worth more than any amount of money to us at this point. Not because 196 XP is like an awesome amount, but because money is valueless. Oh, we know a new secret about Reshef. We should tell our dude. Hey buddy, I learned even more. 25,000 XP. That does take us a significant portion of the way to the next level. But only a significant portion of the way. We're still we're still pretty far off. Uh, let's just eat something to eat something. I should preserve my foods. I do love to be hot and spiny. Alright, so we have 447 pounds of stuff in our inventory. And I mean, we could like go around and, and shop, I guess, but... But who cares? Alright, uh, the Beatles. So let's see... The one that wanted soul curds was promising a vestment. The one that wanted poison-tipped spears was also promising a vestment. And we needed five soul curds. Am I at five soul curds? Oh, we have so much food stuff in our inventory now. Our inventory's gotten even taller. So I guess we should, um... I guess we should go look at the food vendors and see if we can buy more soul curd. Not that we will necessarily go back to Bethesda Souza just for uh, just to turn these in. Oh, you're not the right person, but hold on. Let's make sure we've seen this before. Okay. Who knows? The vestment might be very splendid. You know, it could happen. We've certainly seen some real cool stuff. Uh, I will take this. Let me let me actually give you something for this. How about recipes or recipes? How about advertisements? How about some tiny, tiny little maps? All right. What about you? You have dried Vanta petals. I'll take them. And then nothing else of value. I don't want to jinx it. I'm trying not to jinx it. But it does feel like at this point, it would be tough for us to lose, right? I'm just trying to think of like, what are the what are the things that we still need to be careful of? And honestly, it's like, try not to run into a chrome pyramid. 
And is, is that it? That might actually be it. I guess I don't, I don't really want to have another experience with a high dervish. Although we do have Uber Nostrum again, so... We also have another one of those tacos. I'm not 100% sure that the taco is what regrew my hands. Um, I'm also not 100% sure how I unwrapped the taco. Right, because it's in, it's in wrapping, isn't it? How did I unwrap the taco with no hands? Because we did, we did, um... Yeah, sure, I'll take this too. That's also part of that recipe. We did use that bed. We did we did sit in a fancy medical machine in uh, in Gritgate. But I want to believe that it was the taco. So I do. <laughs> the, the power of desire. Ah, uh, sure, I'll take these. And you know what? Give me all your copper nuggets. And I'll give you... What's some stuff I have that is kind of heavy that I want to get rid of? Uh, we don't really uh, excuse me for these purposes. We do not want to trade away grenades. You know what? I'm not going to use a gaslight, Flissa. If we run into an enemy and I have to get through his, uh, I have to get through his armor. I will just chop him real good. That's how I will handle that. Cause boy, oh boy, can we chop a dude! Uh, I don't really want to trade off this much water. I might just not take some of these copper nuggets. Oh, the point of the made it astronaut. I don't actually want this. These other battle axes we should probably keep. Well, I guess if we're planning to wield that shield, we don't need both of them. Yeah, we'll do it like this. All right, what, uh, what are these two grenades that I picked up from you? How are there still grenades that I don't know about? Ah, a phase conjugate thermal grenade. What a terrible thing. And, okay, normality gas grenade. I should probably know how to make those. Even more normal than the normality gas grenades that we already knew how to make. If you can believe it, if you can imagine a thing, a, a thing that is more normal than a grenade full of gas that disables psych psychic powers. I mean, when you think about it, that is what most grenades do. They disable psychic powers. Most grenades disable psychic powers sort of incidentally. It's like a secondary effect on account of the primary effect being the murder. I assume that most people are unable to, uh, unable to evince their psychic powers if they're dead. I guess that might not be a totally safe assumption. All right, give me this. Okay. So our inventory is real weird. And I think, okay, I think we are in fact just going to go back to... She's going to go back to Ezra and scour the area for clues, because otherwise we are wandering totally blind, right? Oh, I apparently held the button too many times. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Are they mad? No. Remarkably, they're not. I definitely... My ally just... <clears throat> my ally just sent some of them to the Shadow Realm... But I guess a bun they don't mind so much. Maybe they don't realize that that Dragon Man is responsible. Honestly, you have to. I'm sorry about this, but you must die. This, this, I cannot, I cannot have this thing happening. Oh God, is it not fighting back? I don't think it's fighting back. It's also super hard to hit. Like we're doing a lot of shooting here, and I'm not I'm not getting the job done. Why why are you so tough? I feel a little bit bad that it's not fighting back. This is some real <laughs> Hey, you remember how in Old Yeller, uh little Timmy pulled out his chain gun and just had at Old Yeller with it for like five full minutes, and at the end of that, Old Yeller was still like, oh, I'm only mildly wounded. 
Okay. He was killed by Marugamet. Damn straight. He's just, he's untrustworthy is the thing. You can't trust a man who's going to constantly try to suck you into a space-time vortex. I don't know how many times I've said it. Uh, okay, weird artifact that I don't recognize. I'll take that. Uh, Blaze Injector I'm not too concerned about. That's a pretty good price for a book that we know to be valuable. And also I'll take this bear meat. Why not? And you can purchase from me. I will gi I give you the uh, give you the opportunity to purchase from me an advertisement for a kitchen, and also, um, I don't really have a lot of heavy stuff. I mean, I have a lot of grenades. I probably don't need all these grenades. Uh, here, have these grenades. I could just con I could just tinker up more. This grenade's borderline useless. Uh, and then. Honestly, there's a lot of these where I can just tinker up more. Here, have these as well. Alright, tell me about this weird artifact. Is it yet another kind of grenade? It is a scoped musket. Wow. Uh, learn how to build muskets. Disassemble musket. Is there any chance that I will actually need to know how to build muskets at any point? No. I can't. I can't imagine. So are. Wait, is Soar just a ruin? Was it, wasn't was Soar the name of... I don't know. I thought it was the name of one of the historical sites from one of the stories, but I guess it can't be. Hmm. What is going on up here? I, I don't like all the mushrooms. I do not want to stick around here because I do not want to get a fungal infection. But, you know, we should look around at least a little bit. Novices of the Sightless Way are always just bouncing off of my brain. You know what, let's, let's just get out of here. I don't care about this place enough to risk a fungal infection for it. I wonder how many ruins there are in the world. How many, how many sets of ruins. Ow, he cracked my coprocessor. Are you, are you throwing rocks at me? How could this possibly be a good idea? Oh my god, that's so many enemies. We're not in any danger, but it's just like the number of attacks we're going to have to do to get out of this place. <laughs> to be allowed to leave. Don't throw grenades at me. It was a poison grenade, too. That's a, that's a messed up thing to do to somebody. This baboon is smart enough to flee, but not smart enough not to flee into a corner. Listen, I would love to let the whole lot of you live. If you will just stand back and allow me to fast travel. We can just ignore all this. Okay, do I think we're far enough out? Yes. Apparently didn't care about the ruins that, ruins that much. What is this? A workshop of a legendary... Did we, did we check? I don't know. You know, we've done so much with this character at this point, I can't keep it straight. Alright. Let's take a moment and really examine things. Because if we don't have some kind of solution around here, I don't know what I'm going to do. Alright, so all of these are just the, the statues of the six sultans. Yeah, and we looked at all these and none of them have anything to do with the mark. We've looked at the statues of the Eaters. They all have the same description. Despite the fact that they are very, very visually different. And we can we can see that. Gigantic old stone was stacked, uh, stacked, napped, and carved in long arcs to the style of the day in the time of Rechef. Since then, the project has accrued collaborators, and their signatures are writ everywhere. Here, the lacuna of a vandal's edit. There, the soft strokes of time's brush. My experience with time has been that its brush does not stroke particularly softly. Are we cool? Trees like me now, right? Yeah. Let's uh, let's have an actual look around here. We have discovered an Udi. 
uh, it is very hard to hit it. Seems, uh, seems hostile. Don't much care for that. Why is it not? There we go. Wow, that was actually worth XP. I mean, I guess it makes sense if there's anywhere in the world that we're still going to be able to get experience for fighting stuff, it's going to be around the Tomb of the Eaters. How does one Tomb of the Eaters? How do I even... We're going to have to pull some Indiana Jones shit here, and, like, again, I would like to stress that Marugamet is a... a massive... mutant madman hulk. Just, like, constantly coated in blood and other people's faces. Not really suited to academic pursuits. Try not to destroy any of the trees, because I think the uh, irritable palm will pro palms will probably get mad at me. All right, let's let's take a moment and make sure that we're examining all the buildings around here. So these are specifically like it does it does tell us some details. This tells us what it's a mural of. So that's something. We can identify which sultanate the stone was carved under. That's pretty wild. Maybe I know more about this uh, this archaeology stuff than I thought. Okay, so this is all just going to be the same. We're looking for something that looks... I mean, probably. We're looking for something that looks significant, that looks different. Or, you know, maybe there's nothing at all. Okay, is that a... That's, yeah, it's a statue of an eater. From the Sultanate of Polyurum. So, like, the different eaters... The, the different Sultanates were just adding to this edifice over time, I guess? We have no idea how long the Mark of Death has been missing, right? When it was lost to the ages. We just know that it was lost to the ages. Hmm... Just kind of curious if you guys have anything interesting. And there's nothing actually on the door. Well, this is the life gate anyway. I mean, there is something on the door, but we, we looked at it already. We know what it says. Hmm. Okay, just a little wall. Old stone worked to waist height to, to, to stop spilling, but not seeing. Because, of course, this is where they keep their 20 drams of fresh water. Do you guys want to borrow a canteen or something? Okay, this looks like this uh this eater has wheels. And a either a real cool head shape or a real cool helmet on. That's also just an eater. I mean like these these sorta of, if you squint, this part of the mural looks pretty deathy. The ancient sultan and Tiraduct the third, Helmetborn. I sure hope that Marugamet ends up with a cooler epithet than that when we uh, when we pass on into history. Because let's be honest, people are going to be talking about Marugamet's adventures for the rest of civilization. They've been fascinating. You know, the guy's been friends with not one, but two different dragons? And he was directly responsible for the death of only only one of them, probably. Alright, uh, we should eat while we're here. Uh-oh. What you understood to be the Psychic Sea was only a pond. There are other Watchers now, countless in number, beyond the gulf of materiality. Points of light glimmer in all directions. But what are directions on a space that cannot be ordered? All you know now is of an aether vaster than the very mathematics that describe it. Okay, so yeah, we got five levels of psychometry and that pushed our glimmer up above a new threshold, which is... Okay, presumably 40. Alright, so there are, there are more statues of the eaters up here. It's just a bunch more carved stone. Are we missing anything up here? Nope, just the same 
Same stuff. We might be out of luck, y'all. Uh, hey, Warden 1FF. I gotta bring oil. I should've, I should've made a point of getting some oil. Kinda forgot about the Robot Warden. Also, I'm a little surprised with all the garbage that I'm always collecting that I don't have any oil on me. Uh, let's see. Okay, nothing new. You're just a normal eater. Sort of look like a Ninja Turtle a little bit. You know, the Ninja Turtles are from the Age of the Eaters. What if we get to the... What if, what if it turns out that this game is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles licensed product? We get to the end and the final villain is Krang. He is, he is what is at the center of the tomb. Oh, apparently I have a secret to share with you. Recall the year of the fortuitous kinfolk. I, yeah, I discovered this... I quote-unquote discovered this quote-unquote secret while I was digging through some trash, and I thought you would love it. Uh, ooh. I would like that. Oh, hold on. I must, I must already know how to make those. What am I doing? That's right. I know how to make Eater's Nectar Injectors now. I mean, not that we have the resources. Ah, uh, yes. This is why I wanted the Dreadroot Tuber. Well, I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and... Why not, right? What would be the point of saving the tuber? Okay, so hold on. Nothing in your lab is significant, right? Bookshelf, sconce, I mean, maybe there's some... I kind of want to read what your contraption is. You flush with understanding, it's an induction charging station. Oh, neat. I am not going to disassemble their induction charging station right in front of them. That seems like a bad... A bad publicity. Publicity? Uh, hospitality. So yeah, you have no questions that are relevant to the subject. Tell me about this ancient village. It's home to Rebecca's gravesite, so it's a sacred place. Yeah, okay. Did we visit Rebecca's gravesite? And we looked at the... We looked at some of the tombstones. But I guess I... I was kind of, I would kind of expect that to be like a bigger deal. Ooh, a small cube. I love small cubes. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I love cubes of any size. Uh, gold nugget. That's a pretty good way of compressing some weight. Here, let's let's trade off some of our existing nuggets cuz we have a lot of copper nuggets. Pretty sure of that. Yeah. So I'll trade you all of these and also this silver ronger that I don't need. And I got rid of all my silver nuggets already. Uh, do we want to convert anything else? What's the bread? Oh, this is the, the Eater's Nectar Injector. Which I should probably inject. And I might actually want to use my, um, my uh, Metagel on that too, right? Or my Metamorphic Polygel, rather. Uh, I don't want to... There, there's no point in trading in things that are weightless to get this thing that I'm just using as a way to compress value, but we should probably trade in other stuff. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, a lot of the things that I'm carrying that have weight, or a lot of things I'm carrying that have value at this point are themselves weightless. Also, man, I really know how to bargain. Uh, apparently this fidget cell I'm holding is rusted. Sure, you can have that. That's just a waste of uh, a waste of weight. I don't really need a normal chem cell, especially one that's not full. Uh, I will sell you my high capacity chem cells, maybe. I mean, I probably don't need them. I have six missiles on hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, take these. Honestly, these two. I'll do that. That seems like an okay deal. Okay, what is this cube? It is a radio-powered solar cell. I'll... Okay, that's cool. Radio-powered cells are fun. Solar cells seem to not have a ton of capacity, but it's fine. So yeah, have we visited Rebecca's gravesite? That feels significant. I mean, is it just one of these? 
swallowed a Hulk honey injector. You are definitely not supposed to consume those. Eaten alive by the Farmer's Guild. Oh god, it's Metap. It's probably not that Metap. I mean, I guess Joppa is a ruin, right? He arrests the body of Taishun. Knocked over a stasis grenade Mark II. You wouldn't think that that would be dangerous. Tricked into jumping into a pool of lava by a Cyclopean Gibbon. I'm sure that's a great story. Fell from a cliff trying to recover a lost two-handed carbide longsword. Really not a good deal. Assassinated after disparaging newly sentient beings. I get that. We've seen some of these already. Are you, Rebecca? Stabbed to death by a brooding rosepuff. Again, probably a pretty neat story there. Burned at the stake by the Mopango. Oh, there we go. Succumbed to Glotrot. Yep, okay, we knew that already. You note this piece of information in the gossip and lore section of your journal. Cool. Wait. What? Hold on, how... I'm... So is the thing... Is the thing at the bottom... Is this the mark of death? How did I know that? I'm not 100% clear on why that moved the quest forward. I mean, I, I know... In, I know that, okay, it's because we saw the Mark of Death, but how how would I have known that that's the Mark of Death? That seems a small amount arbitrary. And then these are just, like, normal flowers? Yeah. Huh. I, that could be, um, that could be signaled to me a little more clearly, I guess. I Maybe, maybe I m <laughs> missed something? Huh. Okay, well. So I'm supposed to I'm supposed to tattoo this on myself? I was not really expecting to just find the mark of death here, but I was hoping that we, we would discover like a clue or something. I was hoping there was gonna be a little bit more of a puzzle to it. Um Where's my quest log? Here we go, this is what I'm looking for. Inscribe the mark on your body and then enter the tomb. All right. Well, I am I am ready to do that. I guess. Where's my tattoo gun? Does it matter that it's not going to be visible? I'm very heavily armored. Uh. Okay. Uh. Where's my? Oh, can I learn how to build tattoo guns? Aha. Tattoo. Self. Uh. Where would you put the mark of death? I'm going to put it on one of my faces, but like the interior face, not the one I wear on the outside. Uh, I'm going to put it on my right face. Wait. Yeah, the the death door is on the it's on the left side for us. It's audience left, but it's stage right, right? So I'm going to do I'm going to do it on my right face. Uh Oh, okay. It's the mark the mark of death is a set of characters because you have to type it. Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure I got it right. All right. Uh, right carrot, left carrot, pound, pound, left, right. Right, left, pound, pound, left, right. Have I forgotten it already? No, shut up. What are you, <laughs> what are you talking about? Why would you ask that? Oh my god, where's my tattoo gun? It's slipping away. Okay. Uh, tattoo on own face... Right, left, pound, pound, left, right. In, uh, let's go for, oh, I can't do it in an orange. Uh, gold. The mark of death in gold upon my albino face. Uh, gold and, what's gonna look good with the gold? Sort of a gold and red? Yeah, maybe gold and red. That's gonna be real dramatic. You tattoo the mark of death on your right face. A sentence. That makes total sense within context, because this is just the kind of game that we are playing. Okay, so now I'm permanently yellow, which I don't love. I should have thought about that and tattooed myself a color that's not a health indicator color. That's that's on me. That's my bad. I'm still, I'm not super... I don't mean to be coming across as nitpicky here, but I'm not super happy with that solution, honestly. Again, I just, like, I had no idea... I don't know. It's not a big deal, I guess. Except that the way I stumbled into that was by total dumb luck, and if you were trying to, like, solve this like a mystery, 
I don't know how you would get there. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not not super pleased with that, but you know, the game's not done yet. It's still in it's still in early access. They're still working on the thing. Presumably that'll get a clarity pass at some point. Uh, so that is probably all we have time for for today. We apparently have acquired the mark of death and it's all over my face. And when you come back next time, tomorrow, we will put it to use. This is going to be, I, I assume, this is going to be a very dramatic set of circumstances that are about to befall us. Uh, so don't miss it. Come back next time and we'll see you then.